This is going to be a little homegrown video introduction to TAPXR. So the product consists of a sensor module, which contains you know, all of the sensors, the processing, battery, haptic, you know, all of that stuff, um, and these cuff bracelets that we've designed to go with it. Uh, now you can also attach it if you'd like to like a smartwatch or something like that using a magnetic connector that we have in here. Uh, but if you use it with one of our bracelets, what you do is uh, you insert it like this, uh, you put it on, uh, and then you turn it on just by extending it. So it, it sort of comes out, pops out like that, and then it's ready for use. Uh, and then to when you attract it, that's what turns it off. So right out of the box, TAPXR is configured like a Bluetooth keyboard mouse. So uh, if you pair it to something like this iPad, you can just start tapping. Like that. Uh, you can put it into number mode, use it like a number pad. Uh, you can use it for punctuation with double taps. Like that. Um, and pretty much anything that you can do with a QWERTY keyboard, you can do by just tapping your fingers like that. All right, so tap also comes with uh, some mouse functions. Uh, it comes with like a linear mouse that's more useful for like desktop. Uh, what I'm going to show you here is like our, our air mouse uh, or a pinch mouse. Uh, it's more, you know, similar to what you usually see in augmented and virtual reality mice or pointers, you know, for that matter. And uh, I'm not going to make you watch the whole game, but, you know, this is, this is the idea. Uh, this is a demo for a concept of a UX that uses just four taps to control pretty much all of the OS uh, functions that you're going to need. So I'm going to launch a menu and it's icon driven. So these are familiar you know, icons and we put them in the corner of the screen in this demo uh, because uh, they don't have to take up the whole screen and especially in augmented reality where you want to see, let's say where, where you are, or where you're going, uh, it's better to have less of the screen used. So you can scroll right with these two fingers and scroll left with these two fingers. Um, if I want to select something, um, it's just the finger that corresponds to that item. Um, so I've brought up like a kind of a demo of a photo editing app. And I'm going to just pick a photo and I'm going to, let's say, adjust the contrast uh, with these sliders. Uh, I can go back with also a universal tap and go back to the main menu. Yeah, there we are. Um, obviously, you can also use the text application here. So if I want to write something, that's there too. Uh, I'll just exit from this, go back to the main menu and I can close it and go back to the top. That's it.